Ah, so now we move on to the jungle. Sweet. But first, let's look at the image we got. That is very nice image. And pretty similar to the loading screen of the first level. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, that's one of the first things I thought when I was looking at it. So you mentioned that there are video clips in the game as well. So is that something that happens between each section, or is it between each level, or is it just whenever something important happens? I think it's more whenever something important happens, because, like, there'd be a clip here of him going into the jungle, but in the last level of the jungle, there's also all the uh, clips with the uh, pumas and or whatever they are. Okay, so the whole running away... Does that mean that they include the squirrel part, or is that just kind of implied? <laughs> yeah, that's included. Oh. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I like the flies. <laughs> I always love to bring up the uh, clip from the movie. Help me! Help me! To kill a spider, use your roll or charge to flip the spider onto its back and then jump the Oh, goody, spiders. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. that yeah. If there's one enemy in pretty much any game that will always kind of give me the willies, it's spiders. Luckily, these spiders aren't really as much of a pain in the ass as they seem like they should be. Well, I mean, it is a game for... Whoa. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. That may as well have been a jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the village, these levels aren't really as straightforward. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a jungle if it, that wasn't the case. <laughs> oh, and this isn't the only time we're going to be in the jungle. You'll notice the chapter name was Jungle Night. Oh. Oh. I see. <laughs> I went and looked it up. There's like eight areas in this game. Oh, wow. That's a pretty sizable amount for a... Uh... Um, a movie game. Yeah, but it's like three levels each-ish. Good point, good point. And I think, I think a couple of them are just gimmick areas, like, uh, the next level is the river. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> We're about so to go over so a giant waterfall. <laughs> Oh really? There's an entire level just just going down the river. <laughs> yes. Wow. I mean, having a level uh, dedicated to ch being chased by the panthers or whatever is one thing. <laughs> I take it that's one of them as well. Yeah, that's the last one of this area. We'll discuss that one. <laughs> well, actually, no. We probably can discuss it now because. That level is only about four minutes long with editing. <laughs> oh my, uh... <laughs> By the That's... way, Squirrel! Hey! hey. The, squir the Squirrel's much more of an asshole, throwing acorns at us. I was just about to say, I'm like, he's throwing those acorns at you? Yeah. Huh. So does that actually stop you? Like, when he throws it at you, it's like, ow, I got hit by an acorn. Yeah. Well, can't really blame him. Cusco is an asshole, so... I don't know why he jumps over to the lake like that. Really could have just run forward. Yeah. Probably has to do with um, cameras and things like that. So I can't remember, did you say that... Uh, some coins are on a timer, so, like, those ones would have been on a timer? No, I don't think they are. Oh, okay. Check or at least I've never waited long enough to figure it out. Oh, okay. So it's only in, like, the secret areas where you have to, like, kick enough bunnies in time. Yeah, those have time limits. Oh, jeez. Now we get to steal balloons from the squirrel. And the squirrel gets to steal it right back. And you have to be running under this branch or it will pop your balloon. Wow. Makes sense. Yeah, it does, but... 
It's kind of annoying if you don't know about it the first time. Yeah, I would definitely believe that. Oh, I'm just gonna walk over here because of the clunky controls and... Oh, there goes my balloon. Mm -hmm. So far this mission seems to be doing alright as far as... Uh... Oh, well, <laughs> almost fell there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that yeah, would have been general... embarrassing. <laughs> In general, most levels are not that bad. There's just the occasional one where they wanted to throw in a whole bunch of ideas, but since they're limited to, like, three per area, it's like, okay, put this here and then put the rest in the other one. So you're saying that, uh, oh, yeah. uh, what was I about to say? That you have to run under that branch, otherwise the balloon will pop. So does that mean that all the other thorns on the other trees can pop the balloon too? Uh-huh. <laughs> so not only do you have to run from the squirrel, you have to dodge trees. Yep. Luckily the trees don't hurt you. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely good. You do know that any minute now a big spider's gonna come along and eat you. Took the words right out of my mouth, please go. Okay. The reaction to most people for most people. You know what? I. So what are you gonna tell me then? No, I gotta agree with the fly. He's he's left up there to die of exposure instead of get eaten quickly. Defeat the god to collect the red idol. No problem. Basically, the guard has a different helmet, which means he has an item. Wait, I thought we learned about that back in the village. Yeah, but those had blue helmets. Ah, okay. This guy is an asshole, and has a red idol. So, kicking is pretty much the best way to do it? Pretty much. Hmm. Well, despite the fact that you told me that there are a bunch of painful aspects to this mission... <laughs> oh, this isn't even the start of the pain. <laughs> well, you certainly made it look painless. <laughs> 